As you already know, many GIS projects require georeferencing some raster data. This means assigning real-world coordinates to each pixel of the raster. We won't be getting into how these coordinates are obtained. It may be with the GPS device. In this video tutorial, we'll break down the process of georeferencing a scanned map into a few simple steps. So, let's get started with step number one. You'll need a scanned map, like so. Going into properties so you can see, type of file, image file. And the second thing is the vector layer, which I already have imported into Bentley's MicroStation. And now attaching with Attach raster reference, choosing the image, it's this one right here, checking place interactively, so you can place it where you want it, the image to be. As you can see, the image is not correctly rotated and um, that leads us to step number two. Now, going into edit and warp. Now we're going to choose some specific points like so from the image into the vector layer Let's choose the final point and we need to right click now and since we have chosen the warp method of move, scale and rotate, the image is placed. That means going into step number three, which will be, as you can see, the map is Placed, but it's not just correctly placed we need to repair now I'm choosing the method affin move scale rotate and skew and you'll need to do this with as many um, points as you can.
step number four would be saving this new file like a georeferenced diff changing the name you can choose if you have any preferences about the color mode I can detach now I'm going into file and detach and again place the new image which we have saved uncheck the place indirectively so the image can go where it needs to be and here it is I can open it with QGS also And as you can see in the bottom, there are coordinates assigned to each pixel, so the image is georeferenced as it needs to be. I really hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.